everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists in New York are producing new antibiotics on farms where the livestock are E. coli bacteria. The farms are actually petri dishes located at the University of Buffalo School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, but inside those petri dishes are colonies of E. coli bacteria that have been specially engineered to synthesize new varieties of erythromycin, one of modern medicine's most important antibiotics. Three new forms of erythromycin were produced that were shown to be effective against bacteria that had developed a resistance to the original form of erythromycin. The researchers responsible for this study hope that this method will lead to more variations of the drug that will continue to counteract antibiotic resistance in the future. The study is published in the journal Science Advances. Next up, scientists at Stanford University have developed a new carbon material that dramatically improves the performance of batteries. The new designer carbon, as its creators have nicknamed it, is an improvement on activated carbon, which is commonly used in batteries. Though an inexpensive and versatile material, activated carbon has certain drawbacks that limit its efficiency when used for energy storage. Designer carbon has greater surface area and higher conductivity, and the manufacturing process allows the material to be tuned to fit particular applications. Lithium sulfur batteries with designer carbon electrodes showed superior performance, and supercapacitors with designer carbon electrodes improved electrical conductivity threefold over supercapacitors made with conventional activated carbon. This study is published in the journal ACS Central Science. And finally, researchers in Malaysia have found a way to turn fluorescent light tubes into Wi-Fi antennas. A team at University Technology Mara has developed a simple wire coil sleeve that can be slipped over the end of a standard 62 centimeter fluorescent light tube, turning the tube into an antenna that can then be connected to Wi-Fi routers using a building's electrical wiring. The plasma formed when electricity passes through the gas contained within the tube acts much like a metal antenna, allowing an attached router to send and receive signals through the fluorescent light. This technology would be especially useful in buildings with Wi-Fi dead spots. Fluorescent lights in every room could be wired into routers, creating a simple and inexpensive way to provide full Wi-Fi coverage for an entire building. E. coli bacteria are being used to grow more effective antibiotics, a new designer carbon can boost battery efficiency, and you can improve Wi-Fi coverage by turning fluorescent lights into antennas. That's the good news. Well, I think it is. Why do you always disagree with me on this? You know, I'm developing my own antibiotic for cats. You know what it's called? Erythromyalcin. What do you think of that? <laughs>